Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be quickly showing you how to add, remove, and manage indicators on the Oanda web-based Forex trading platform. So if you haven't already noticed, indicators are smack dab right in front of you. There is the indicator tab as my mouse is currently hovering over. This is right above your chart. This typically doesn't change, it stays in this location. So if you are looking for it, just like I said, take a look at the top of your chart and we can left click that. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of indicators packed into the platform, all free and available for you to use. To add them to your chart, it's really quite simple. All you wanna do is just left click the indicator of your choice and it will add it to your chart. So as you can see here, we just added an AD line. Now we do have some different options here. As you can see, there are different scalings. We can merge it. So as you can see, if we uh, right click that merge up section, it'll actually merge it into the overlay of our main price action of our chart, this being the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. We can unmerge it at any time if we want. As you can see now, it's in its own section again. And we also have the option to either format it. So as you can see, any indicator has the option to be formatted. There are two different format options typically. There's the input, which is the length. So you can see it just makes it a bit longer. If we right click back on that AD line and go back to format, we have the option to change the plotting color, which it is currently in red. So if you are working with multiple indicators, you may want to customize the color of each of them just so you can differentiate between the two. We have the options of changing how this is actually graphed. So by default, it's set with a line graph. If you want, you can turn this into a histogram, columns, circles. It really just depends on your personal preference. Each indicator may behave or look a little bit aesthetically different. Some may look better with just your basic lines. Some may look better as histograms. Some may look better as circles, all personal preference. We have a price line as well. we'll give you that uh, average price. Let's right click back on that. If we format, we do have precision of how accurate it is. You can change that. Or again, we can change how it is scaled. If at any time you want to go back to the default, you can just click resetting, reset settings. Or if you decide to keep this and you'd like to use this going forward, click save as default. Now for actually managing and removing, you have a couple different options here. As you can see, there is this little eye icon. This is also known as the show or hide button. Simply left click that to hide it from your chart. So if you are again working with multiple indicators, you may want to hide something or show something. If your chart is too cluttered, that's how you do so here. Also on the topic of showing and hiding and managing your indicators, you'll notice that my indicator here is technically in its own section. If you'll notice, if I hover my crosshair over this solid uh, horizontal line here, we have the option to adjust. So as you can see, I can adjust my indicator area up or down as needed. So again, if you are working with multiple indicators and this may be taking up too much of a portion of your chart, this is an option to resize. Finally, you have the option to delete. So you have this X button that deletes it. Let's go through the topic or the process one more time. This time, let's add some Bollinger Bands. And you'll notice this differentiates between the other indicator because this one is actually an overlay on our actual chart. If we want to manage our Bollinger Bands, we can click the Show Objects tree. As you can see, the Show Objects tree gives a breakdown of everything that's on your chart. You can reorder the positioning of your indicators or your chart. So if you do have multiple symbols or multiple indicators, feel free to drag these around and it'll reposition the order they are overlaid in. As you can see, if you select it, it will select that main portion. So right now we're selecting our main price graph. If we select Bollinger Bands, as you can see, they are selected now. And then you have the same options pretty much in here. You can right click, format. As you can see, Bollinger Bands are a bit different. Practically the same, but again, being that it is a different indicator, we do have some different settings here. 
Again, you have visual orders. You can send it back, forward. We can merge with different sections of our graph. Scale as we need to. We can copy. There's a ton of different options here. And then again, you have your show hide. And you have your delete. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Indicators are very easy to use on this platform. And as you've already seen, there are a ton and they all behave a bit different. You can add pretty much as much as you like. It does get a bit cluttered because you are kind of only locked into one portion of your chart here. But if you need help managing your charts as well and managing multiple symbols or Forex instruments simultaneously, feel free to refer to this playlist for a video in which will help you for that. That's already been posted. So refer back to that. It should help you out. This has just been covering indicators. We hope you found this helpful. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more informative content on Oanda and other Forex training platforms that we offer. If you have any questions, you can visit our community forum and we gladly assist you there. That wraps it up. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.